Hey, what is going on guys? It is Vexian with Disrupt Gaming here, and today I'll be going over why you should be playing Yana. So let's get into it. To preface, a few weeks ago, I did a video on why you should be playing Capcom, and kind of going on with the series, I'm going to be every few weeks, every Saturday, going to be going over why you should play some of these underrated operators or operators that I feel like are overlooked in some aspects, and today it's going to be Iana. This video helps you in any way, you know, you learn something new, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and question of the day is, what is your favorite attacker, and who do you think is the most underrated attacker? Answer one of those questions in the comments below, now let's get into it. Starting off, Iana was released in Year 5 Season 1 Void Edge, pretty unmemorable season, uh, if I'm going to be honest, can't really tell you a whole lot besides, you know, Oregon and Oryx and Diana. It, it was just very bland. It seemed more or less year four, season five, if that makes sense. It was just kind of a continuation. Not a whole lot done, which is understandable, you know, in the middle of a global pandemic and things like that. But here's Diana. Diana is the attacker from that operation, and she is a two speed, two armor one difficulty so she's pretty easy to learn but there's a few complex situations you can set up with her and a few things that you can do in coordinating with your team while playing yana that makes her incredibly useful so let's go over her loadout so starting off looking at her guns she has the arx 200 this is the same arx that nomad has it shoots relatively slow but hits pretty hard and then we have the g36c this is ash's ar her secondary is the frost sidearm frost buck sidearm it is the mk19 millimeter it's okay not the best it's just a pistol. For her secondary gadgets, she has the frag grenade and the smoke. Really useful. Uh, she's, again, a f one of the few attackers who have frags, which kind of makes her pick rate go up a little bit, And in my opinion. Uh, it's very useful to have frags. Zero had his previously taken away, and then, sure, his pick rate's going to go down just a little bit. Anytime an operator loses frags, they kind of lose a little bit of... Um, a little bit of a reason to pick them. Frags are just that extra thing that help them clear utility and secure kills and not having them is, you know, not ideal. But she has them, which is really nice. Going over her gadget, she has the Gemini Replicator. This deploys a remote-controlled holographic copy of Yana to full opponents and gather intel. So basically, it's a drone. Think of it as an extra drone. So she has her two drones, and then she has an infinite number of these. However, they get shot. There's a cooldown timer. She can exit them herself. They last 15 seconds. They're used to gather information. They can also be used to distract enemies. And I'm going to be going over some use cases where you could kind of distract enemies with them and how I'd personally play them. Let us hop into a custom game to kind of go over more about Yana and show how these certain things work. So starting off, I'm going to be telling you guys the three ways that I would play Yana. So the three ways we have is going to be baiting the Yana to get kills. So having your teammate bait your Yana Gemini to get kills. Faking with Yana, this is where you're going to be going up, you know, the opposite side, pushing the opposite side by yourself. This is going to draw people to you because you're faking a push with the Yana trying to get information with the Gemini. Usually when people try to get information, that means they're going to push there. So you're going to fake getting information by pushing the opposite way of your team. Your team is then going to take what they're actually supposed to be taking. You're going to be doing an info fake with it. And then the third way is going to be roam clearing and getting information. Now the Yana clone only lasts 15 seconds. So when you're in there, you're getting information, you have to act upon it fast. So we're going to be talking about how to clear roamers with the Gemini and how to get really quick information that your teammate can use. So these are the three ways we're going to be discussing. So let's get into it. Okay, so starting off while playing Iana. If you look, Iana has two drones plus her Gemini replicator, which is essentially a third drone of sorts. Uh, and I'm going to be going over kind of how it works. So for two drones like this, you can throw, you know, both of them however you want. But if both these get destroyed or say they get mozzie pest or muted, uh, then... You have the Yana clone that you can use as well. The Yana clone makes you stationary, as you see here. So you're kind of, you know, just stationary. Can't really shoot back if you're in a gunfight, so make sure you do this in a safe place. But when controlling her, it's the exact same as controlling this yourself. WAC to move. You can sprint. You can crouch. You can vault. Uh, you can't shoot. And if you take any damage at all, a singular tick of damage, whether it be a Legion Mine, Impact, Capcom, whatever it may be, um, then... So while in the Yana clone... Uh, unlike drones, she's immune to pest, but she's also affected by mutes. And another thing that is different from drones than this is that any form of damage she takes at all will kill her. Well, in some cases, you know, drones might not take a form of damage that the Iana clone might take. I think to do the Iana drone is, besides just kind of, you know, using it and getting info, say if all you need is get info pillar, you can exit it. Uh, exiting is going to make the timer feel back faster than if, it, if someone were to shoot the Gemini clone you would have a longer cooldown. So there's some aspects where you could tactically use exiting it yourself, which would then aid in cooldown and just utility management, which is really nice. Okay, moving on to some useful scenarios with Diana and her clone. So obviously, hypothetically here, let's say you have your drone set up or you've got both of them destroyed. You need to be pushing back. I'm going to be using Oregon as an example, as it's just a really good example. And it's also the map that she was released on, so it feels kind of right to do it here. I'm going to open up the door. 
so you don't know if anyone's playing elbow you don't know if anyone's playing pillar but you do know they're downstairs maybe not put maybe don't put yourself here but maybe tuck yourself behind this wall but you can run in check here you no know one's playing here cool and then check pillar the great thing about this is i kind of said earlier if someone was playing pillar they'd shoot the drone therefore you have to wait the full time but if you see that the shield there or someone's playing there you can exit it you'll have your full yana drone so you can now move up and take blue bunker another really useful thing that you can do with the yana is you can kind of bait with it say you have an ash here unfortunately i don't because no one was on the line to help me make the video kind of sad but you can do here is you can bait the yana the yana to them looks very similar or if not identical to the real yana and when you're playing siege you can't really tell the same they shoot the yana and your ash is playing to get the refrag on the yana gemini which sounds kind of weird but it works so if you had your ash playing behind here you could push up try to take the gunfight you're not actually taking the gunfight you're just baiting him to shoot and reveal his position now he's at a position your ash can move up to the door take the frag and get a line of sight that's one way to use yana it's not the most effective as kind of obvious it's a gemini it just takes one tick advantage from anything so just one bullet will destroy the yana gemini but uh, you can capitalize on that and you know advance take better positions or try to get the frag uh, i've done that many times and it works but not too great effect but it is one thing you can do another thing you can do yana is you can fake a push right so say there's limited time left in the round use your gemini say their top floor here as an example you would push up white while your team's taking master therefore say if you make it into the site or they even shoot it they now know that you have information on white and you might be likely to take white usually when someone drones out something that means they're going to take it think bank on a garage is a good example most people drone out garage if they're pushing it otherwise you're not going to see many drones in garage at all so very similar reasoning behind this you yawn up the stairs or you yawn up from the opposite way you're pushing therefore you might be able to pull a defender to that position to take gunfights with the yana and then your team can pinch from the side they're originally pitching so uh, again if i just go up white so there's barbed here Yana's make noise going through Barb. So they're gonna hear that. They're gonna be like, oh, someone's droning or someone's pushing up through the white. They get the Yana drone. They're like, okay, I think he's gonna take white. Well, your team is actually taking master and executing master. Another thing you can do, it's a nice little fake that you can do with the Yana. Is do fakes like this. This I have some decent success with, more yeah, so than baiting left. with Yana. For the third way, say site is top floor. You're down here. Not often do people roam here, but if you don't want to waste a drone because drones are you know non-renewable whereas the gemini is use the gemini to roam clear very simple check your corners see if anyone's here you don't see anyone that's great but you don't have to waste a drone droning is incredibly useful drones are very useful because they last through the entire round and unlike the gemini which is renewable after its cooldown you don't have a renewable drone so you want to save your drones so roam clearing with the gemini is really useful so say now i know this is all clear i can push up i can take this position hop on the gemini again because it recharged and then drone up ahead. This is how I personally play Iana and use her Gemini. It's the most effective where the other two are less effective, but still useful in some cases. So I'm droning, I'm looking, and say, oh look, someone's out here playing showers. I know they're playing showers, and then they're either gonna have to push out of showers now that they have information on them, or they're gonna have to hold it down, which means you can easily lock them off. Now that you're like, oh, look, I'm off the drone. You can come here and watch the rotate or coordinate your teammate and push. And then in that case, you can even fake with Iana that we talked about in the first way of playing Iana is look throw your on in here again this time they think it uh, might be the real yana it gets shot and then your ash gets the refrag or whoever is clearing with you gets the refrag simple as that that, that is the best way to play on in my opinion is to, for roam clearing and using it as kind of like a pseudo drone uh for small time information obviously you don't want to waste your normal drones because they're incredibly useful and because this is immune to pests and you know it, it, it's not really controllable by the enemies it's really good unfortunately it's not controlled by your teammates as well so you have to be relaying information in real time which is why the best way to use yana is you know have someone who is less impactful uh in terms of fragger um or a fragging role but really good at communicating and giving calls so this is my tips to yana in the comments below i know how i did and any tips that you have with yana that being said guys it's been the video peace